Hey, what's going on everyone? How you guys doing today? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater and I, I'm in my car because I'm out doing Uber Eats deliveries right now and that's fine. That's great. I mean, this is a way to make a living here when YouTube is dead and let's be fair, when you talk about movies, right, right, right now, it's everything is dead, right? All the movie news today is simply what was shut down, what was shut down, how bad things are. I mean, I think the only piece of good news in all of this is just simply the fact that the virus took down the start date for uh, uh, Fantastic Beasts 3, which let's be realistic here. Was anyone really wanting Fantastic Beasts 3 after the last two? I mean, at this point, I'm invested in to see where it goes, but I'm not like in a rush out there at all and be like, oh my God, I got to see Johnny Depp. But I got, you know, I don't care about any of that stuff. Um, <laughs> so I'm kind of okay with it being delayed. But really, if you if you look at the trades right now, and I was just looking through the trades, movie news is dead. And this is not going to change for a while. I mean, all we're going to get coming out of the future for the next at least two to six weeks is probably nothing but bad news. Nothing but announcements of cancellations or slowdowns or indefinite delays or movie pushbacks. It's going to become an absolute ghost town and whatever companies are working on right now, whatever shows they've got in post-production, they are going to rapidly push to get those things out. I would suspect that The Mandalorian Season 2, which is already wrapped production, will probably launch sometime in the midsummer versus the end of the year. It is going to come out right around the time of another quarter ending. So people who decided to get rid of their Disney Plus subscription will definitely renew their subscription, therefore giving it an earnings boost, which will look good to shareholders. At this point, really, that's what needs to be done. I mean, the Falcon and Winter Soldier is currently uh, on, you know, it's on, it's been, it's on hiatus while they figured this thing out. So a couple weeks of that, that's looking to premiere in August. And, you know, then you've got WandaVision and Loki and, you know, all, everything else that's going on with the Marvel shows. Uh, I would expect What If to be uh, formally announced also for probably coming out here pretty soon. I would suspect that if they're working on the um, uh, that new Star Wars Rebels show that we've been heard rumors about, that's going to be pushed forward. Uh, whatever Netflix is working on is going to be absolutely ramped up. They've got a lot of things in production, but what they're what you know stuff that's coming out later this year or next year is currently being halted. So whatever they've got in post production right now is probably going to be rapidly seeing the light of day. And this is both good and bad. Um, it's good for us because we get more content, but it's bad because if they don't space it out well enough, they're going to be out of new content for quite some time. There's going to be this, this gap. There's going to be this dip. And people are going to be left wanting to know what to do. So uh, while movie news is dead, it's not the end of the world, right? It's not the end of the world. So uh, one of the things that I really want to do is I really want to start like trying to inject more of a positive approach to this whole thing. And, and so last night, I don't know if you guys happen to check it out. It's on the channel right now. Uh, it's Hollywood After Dark. It's my live show. Um, I talked a little bit about the news. Again, there wasn't much going on. And then I took live calls. So you guys who want to call in and talk to me, we talked about a wide variety of topics, a wide variety of subjects. We did it for an hour and the hour flew by and the people watching had a great time. And that to me is awesome because that's the kind of positivity I want to inter uh, inject into this scenario. That's what I want to do. And so even though movie news is dead, movies aren't dead. The culture will eventually come back, but now it's going to be time for us to come together, to talk about what we love, to, to bond over what we love, to geek out over what we love, right? All of those things. That's what we're going to do. And that's what I think is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, as we uh, move into the next few weeks, as more and more people become isolated, we're going to see uh, some people turning to the dark and the dramatic and the, and the drama because that's going to be what they think people want. But one of the things that is going to happen, psychologically speaking, is there's going to set in a level of isolation, right? There's going to be a level of isolation that sets in from people that are going to be home and not going outside or interacting. And I think that feeding into the drama, trying to play up that base, uh, that like kind of that basic voyeuristic tendency we have as a society is going to have very negative outcomes. And I don't want that. And I don't think you want that. So even though movie news is dead, it's not the end of the world. We can still have a lot of fun 
And that is my goal. And I hope you guys are with me on this one. Anyway, I just wanted to put this out there. Your thoughts, your opinions, let me know down in the comments below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Matt Jarbo. This has been Three Black Theater. Have yourself a great day and peace out.